Making choices can be a difficult thing, and I receive a lot of questions about choosing the right equipment. Now, is there really one right answer? Let's talk about that right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV, and welcome to this late night edition of Tuesday Tips. Now, this topic is very important because I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that I receive a ton of questions about this subject every day in my emails, um, in the comment section, Facebook, everywhere. Now, it can be about new controllers, new turntables, a new mixer. Sometimes you guys give me options, like I've seen this one, that one, and that one. But at the end of the day, the question is always the same. Which one should I get? Now guys, don't believe the hype. There's never one right answer when it comes to this. And I tell that in a lot of my videos, but I wanted to do it now in a separate video just to put some more emphasis on this. Now, let's take controllers as the example. I get a lot of questions from starting DJs who wanna buy their first controller. And if you've seen some of my videos, you know that the DDJ SB and the Mixtrack Pro 2 were two of my favorite entry level controllers. Now, of course, we have the SB2 and the Mixtrack Pro 3 now, um, but I would still, suggest that you look at those two as good entry-level controllers, but they're definitely not the only ones. But I can't choose if the SB2 or Mixtrack Pro 3 is the better option for you. You're the only one who can do that because it's all about personal preference. So what's your budget? Know how much you wanna spend or can spend. Try to have an idea of what you're looking for in a controller. Now, for instance, if you end up with the two options being the SB2 and the Mixtrack Pro 3, go to a store, go check them out in person because that makes a totally different impression than just looking at a picture online or seeing a video. Go check them out. Feel the controllers because they both have jog wheels, but they feel different. They both have buttons, but they feel different. They both have faders, but they feel different. Find out what fits your personal needs, your personal preference. And just don't believe the hype because someone tells you that Serato is the best software or that Tractor is the best software. Find out for yourself. And even if something is the standard, so for instance in the clubs, the CDJ player is the standard. And back in the days, the SL1200 by Technics, the turntable was the standard. It doesn't mean that you have to use that. You can use something else. So for instance, the CDJs are the standard now, but I use turntables because I prefer turntables, my personal preference. So guys, there's never one right answer. Don't believe the hype. Do some research online, read reviews so you have a good idea of what your best options are, then go try it out in person. But this goes for a lot of things in life, guys, and I'm not gonna make this video long, but just to give you a quick example um, that has nothing to do with DJing. Working out, fitness. When it comes to fitness, you have all these guys who will tell you what the best thing to do is, even when it comes to one certain exercise, and it could be for your back uh, or a leg exercise, whatever. You will have a lot of people telling you, this is the right way to do it. And then you have another group telling you, no, this is the right way to do it. And at the end of the day, with most exercises and most supplements, um, it's all about the person. So one exercise might work great for you, but it might not work the same for me because I might have to execute it in a little different way to really trigger the muscle in the right way. So let's not talk more about working out, but it's the same thing. You have to try it out for yourself to see what works best. Um, guys, that's it. I'm gonna keep it short. No, don't believe the hype. There's not one right answer. Do your research, go check it out in person and make your own choice. So if you have any questions, if you wanna know if a certain piece of equipment is good, send me an email, djtlmtv at djtlm.com. I love to help you out. If I've experienced with that equipment, I can always tell you my experience, but making a choice for you, mm, that's gonna be hard. All right, guys, um, that's it for now. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share the video, share the knowledge, and I will be back on Thursday with Thursday Tech. And I got some nice news. I had an Amsterdam dance event last week, Heard some nice things, so I'm gonna share that in Thursday's video. For now, I'm gonna get some rest, and I'll see you again Thursday. Peace.